okay, I think we, I think we finally have everything squared away here on our scoreboard and our stream. So we are in the top of the third, I'm sorry, bottom of the second inning, Bears um, hosting the ACS Saints today as the scoreboard finally reflects. Fly ball hit to right field by Gollish. Caught by the right fielder, uh, Brandon Orm of the Saints. Out number one for Jackson Hill and the Saints here in the bottom of the second inning. That's going to bring to the plate Jake Williams, the pitcher today for the Bears. Jake Williams. Jake Williams. 239, 11 RBIs, 375 on base percentage, so... Jake has been particularly good on the mound this year as well. There's a called strike on the outside corner. Hill gets ahead, no balls, one strike. Here's the pitch. Pick off your back pick from the catcher. But Thomas gets back safely. That's Cullen, Jack Cullen, the catcher for the Saints. Jackson Hill gets his sign. Here's the pitch. Another pitch that misses outside. So two balls, one strike. Jake steps out of the box. Gets his sign from assistant coach Brad Anglin in the third base dugout. There's a called strike on the outside corner. Two balls, two strikes. Some very timely hits for Jake Williams this year as a senior. There's a little nubber out in front of the plate. Hill fields it, throws the the first baseman for the first out. Of, I'm sorry, the second out of the inning. So two outs for the Saints here, as Max Savage strolls to the plate. The senior Max Savage. Max wears number 23 for the Bears. Colin Thomas advanced to second base there on the little ground ball out in front of the plate. So there's a called strike from Hill. So no balls, one strike, two outs for Jackson Hill and the Saints. Savage the batter. Curve ball that misses down and away. One ball, one strike. that misses low and away in the dirt and almost gets away from the catcher, Colin, but does not. And then he tries to catch Colin Thomas sleeping over at second base, but Colin gets back safely. So Max can get a ground ball on that right side in between the first baseman and the second baseman. That should, should be enough to score Thomas from second base. So see if the Bears can get their first, uh, first run of the day here. Three balls, one strike on Max Savage. Two outs. Derek Davis waits on deck for the Bears. Cohen calls timeout. He wants to go out and have a word with Hill.
second baseman holding Thomas on at second. Uh, there's a strike that Max kind of offers at, but pulls back and gets called a strike anyway. So three balls, two strikes, two outs for Hill and the Saints. Here comes the pitch that Max swings through. So that's out number three in the bottom of the second inning. So the Bears can't make anything happen there. And we'll go to the top of the third on NobleBears.tv. I'm Scott Harper. We'll be right back. So welcome back, Bear fans. We're back for the top of the third inning between your Noble Bears and the Oklahoma Christian Saints. Saints on the year, 22-8, and 13-1, and one, and there's a hard ground ball up the middle that Casey Anglin comes over and goes off the heel of his glove. Um, would have been a really difficult play as that leadoff runner or leadoff batter for him runs well, I'm sure, so... Not much of a chance there for Kaysen and definitely not an error. So uh, the leadoff runner is on for the Saints, Orm, and that's going to bring Spencer Schwant to the plate. He wears number nine and plays third base for the Saints. Jake Williams gets the sign. There's a bunt that is in the air that, oh, that Jake can't quite get to. So the Saints escape there. That should have been an out. Very easily could have been an out. So, but the ball falls foul. So just a just a strike. So no balls, one strike. Good effort by Jake Williams there and Colton Williams. Warm the runner at first for the Saints. He had a single. And then that ball gets away from Jace Kelly all the way over against the fence. And Orm is going to try to get to third, but he is going to be out. So Jace Kelly makes a heck of a throw from the fence line all the way to the third baseman, Max Savage, who fields it cleanly, makes the tag, and that's a out for the Saints. So really nice play there by Jace Kelly, showing off the arm strength. Threw a perfect ball that took one hop, and Max just fielded it, applied the tag, and Orm is out. So one out for the Saints. Here comes the pitch. There's a hard ground ball to the second baseman, Thomas, that he fields. Goes over to Jace for out number two. And that's going to bring to the plate Jack Cullen, the catcher for the Saints. Jake Williams an out away from getting out of this top of the third inning. There's a hard ground ball that gets into right field. That's going to be a single for Cullen. And I think we'll have a courtesy runner 
for the Saints, for the catcher, Jack Cohen. And that's going to be number four, McGow, running for Cohen. So that'll bring Carter Sterling to the plate, a shortstop for the Saints. And where's number three? Jake Williams on the hill. We're in the top of the third inning, two outs. Here's the pitch. There's a called strike on the inside part of the plate. So Jake gets ahead, no balls, one strike. The curveball that call, I'm sorry, uh, that Sterling fouls back. So no balls and two strikes. Waiting on deck for the Saints, Jackson Hill, the pitcher today. There's a hard ground ball down on the third base line. It gets foul. So the count remains no balls, two strikes, two outs for Jake Williams and the Bears. Saints have a runner on after a single by Cohen, and running for Cohen is McGow, number four. There's a hard ground ball to the shortstop. Anglin, he fields and flips over to the second baseman, Colin Thomas, for out number three. So Jake Williams gets out of that top half of the third. Couple hits, no runs. We will go to the bear half of the third inning when we return on noblebears.tv. I'm Scott Harper. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back, Bear fans. We are back for the Bear half of the third inning. And new pitcher for the Saints, and that is Spencer Schwant. He wears number nine. He was previously the third baseman. And number 20 is taking over at third base. I don't have a number for that young man. So leading off for the Bears will be Derek Davis, playing center field today uh, for the Bears. Senior Derek Davis. Fastball that misses up from Schwant. So one ball, no strikes. The pitch called for a strike. One ball, one strike. There's a hard ground ball to the shortstop that he fields. Throws over to first base, and he gets him. Nice play there by Carter Sterling as Derek Davis grounds out to the shortstop, and that'll get the Bears back to the top of the lineup in case in England.
case an 0 for 1 on the day. Schwant, the pitcher now for the Saints. Fastball that misses off the plate. One ball, no strike. Another ball. Pitch missed off the plate again. So two balls, no strikes. Case and England, the batter, the senior. Here's a hard ground ball to the shortstop. Or I'm sorry, the second baseman that he bobbles, but recovers and makes a nice play. Nice dig over there by the first baseman. So two outs for the Bears here in the bottom of the third inning. That's going to bring the plate senior, number 18, Colin Fisher. Still no hits for the Bears. So called strike, so no balls, one strike on Colin Fisher, the senior, number 18. Schwant misses outside there. So one ball, one strike. Pitch that misses inside. <laughs> Almost got the umpire, but he was quick enough to move out of the way. So two balls, one strike. Schwant working really fast. There's a called strike on the outside corner that doesn't seem that great of a pitch, honestly. But nonetheless, two balls, two strikes, two outs. That pitch was just a bit outside. Three balls, two strikes. <laughs> Calling 0 for 1 on the day. There's a fly ball into right center field that is going to be caught. Oh, dropped by the right fielder. And that will allow Colin to move over to <clears throat> second base. Bears have a runner in scoring position. That's Colin Fisher. So the double by Fisher. And that's going to bring to the plate right fielder, senior, Devin Knight. There's a long fly ball that's going to get over towards the bus barn. Long strike, so no balls, one strike. Devin Knight. Schwant, the pitcher for the Saints. Here's the pitch. There's a hard ground ball over towards the Bear dugout. So no balls, two strikes. Schwant wears number nine for the Saints. Devin Knight drew a walk in his first at bat, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, he did. So here's another foul ball over towards the bus barn. So no balls, two strikes, two outs. Colin Fisher at second base. Another foul ball there from Knight. Bottom of the third inning, Bears and Saints, no score. Another foul ball from Knight. So he is seeing the ball really well right now out of Schwant's hand. Just can't seem to find fair territory. A little bit late, a little bit early. Find that right side, Devin.
All right, we're ready for pitch. And Devin Knight swings through that pitch. So Bears go quietly here in the bottom of the third, just a double by Fisher, and that's going to do it. So we'll head to the top of the fourth inning between the Bears and the Saints. We'll be right back on NopeBears.tv. Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorse works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Okay, Jake Williams is through taking his warm-up tosses, and we are ready for the top of the fourth inning. Bears and Saints, still no score. And Jake Williams out there for inning of work number four. And let's see what his, his line looks like at this point. 41 pitches, 33 strikes, so very efficient day. There's another strike called strike on the pit, uh, the young man that started on the mound. And that's uh, Hill. He was relieved by Schwant in that last inning. So there's a ball on the dirt from Jake. So one ball, one strike. And back to Jake. 40, that was a 42nd pitch, 34 strikes. So very good strike, a ball to, you know, strike to ball ratio there. Um, giving up three hits. There's a foul ball. So one ball, two strikes. So just three hits is what Jake has allowed to this point. So good outing, no runs. Jackson Hill, the batter. There's a little ground ball towards the shortstop, Casey Anglin. Comes up, makes a nice play. Goes over to Jace. We're out number one. There's tossing around the horn. And that's going to do it for the young man, Jackson Hill. He's going to be retired for the first out of the inning. And that's going to bring to the plate number 16, Wyatt Fitzgerald. I believe Fitzgerald had the double. in the center field that kind of went off Derek Davis's glove. So depending on who you ask, it was a double or an error. So I think uh, if I were scoring that particular play, I probably would have called it an error. I think Derek should make that play. So, but and a ball. So three balls, no strikes. Jake falls behind to Fitzgerald, trying to overthrow on that last pitch. Looks to be anyway. So let's see if he can come back here. <clears throat> pitch in the dirt. So four pitch walk. Fitzgerald moves down to first base. And that's going to bring to the plate number 10, Drew Adcock, the first baseman for the Saints. No, nice play by Colton Williams there. Ball over in the left-handed batter's box that he backhands and fields cleanly. So nice play there by Colton. But ball one. So here comes the pitch from Jake. And a called strike on the outside corner. So 
one and one on Adcock. Throw ball that catches the inside part of the plate. One ball, two strikes. And a called third strike, so good-looking curveball there from Jake Williams uh, to get Adcock looking. And that's out number two for Jake Williams and the Bears here in the top of the fourth inning. And that's going to bring to the plate number 20, the young man that replaced, that replaced Schwant at third base. Uh, we don't have, a, don't have him on my roster for OCS, so there's a pitch that catches him on the arm, so he'll hustle down to first base by on the hit by pitch. And the Saints now have runners at first and second. And that's going to bring to the plate the nine hole hitter, Owen Hunter, the center fielder for the Saints. for one on the day is Hunter. There's a fly ball into center field that Derek Davis settles underneath and makes the catch. So out number three. And that's going to do it for the Saints. Uh, no runs, no hits, no errors. Two men left. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth inning on noblebears.tv. I'm Scott Harper. Filling in for Randy Kersey today on this beautiful Saturday afternoon, senior day for the Bear 23 class. We'll be right back on NobleBears.tv. All right, welcome back, Bear fans. We are back for the bottom of the fourth inning. Got an offensive juggernaut going on out there today. Uh, Saints and Bears tied at zero, and good pitching matchup between uh, Jake Williams and, of the Bears and Jackson Hill and Spencer Schwant of the Saints to this point. So, first pitch misses up and away. Jake. Takes a good, or I'm sorry, Jace takes a really good cut at that pitch and fouls that back over the third base dugout. So one ball, one strike. And there's a ball in the dirt, so two balls, one strike. There's a little... Fly ball into left field that the left fielder comes up, makes the play. That's Fitzgerald out there in left field. So that's the first out of the inning for Schwant and the Saints. And that's going to bring to the plate. Number 33, senior Colin Thomas. Colin drew a walk in his first at-bat today. So 
curve ball that misses inside. So two balls, one strike. Pitch misses up and in, so calling a pitch away from drawing his second walk of the day. And there's a line drive into left field that's dying. And nice play by the left fielder. And that is Wyatt Fitzgerald with a diving catch there to rob Colin Thomas of a single. So nice play there by the young man Fitzgerald. That's going to bring us to Carter Gollish in the lineup. I'm sorry, Stephen Gwynn, now the batter for the Bears. His first at-bat of the day. First pitch is a ball. Second pitch is a swinging strike that I think Gwynn might have got a piece of there. So one ball, one strike. There's a called strike. One ball, two strikes. Two outs for Schwant and the Saints here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Stephen Gwynn, the batter. And he swings through that pitch, and that's out number three for the Saints. And we'll go to the top of the fifth. Still nodded at zero. We'll be right back on NobleBears.tv. Welcome back, Bear fans. We have a new pitcher for the Bears. Jake Williams is done for the day. And he's moved to shortstop, so him and Kaysen Anglin swap spots. And Kaysen comes to the mound. And here comes Kaysen's first pitch of the day inside. On the leadoff hitter for the Saints, that's Orm. One for two on the day. Kaysen misses outside there. Two balls, no strikes. There's a foul ball back towards me. Two balls, one strike. Pitch from Kaysen. Called strike, curve ball, good looking pitch. Kaysen. Gets the strike out there, Kaysen does. So Orm goes down swinging. And Kaysen on the year. Uh, this will be appearance number nine. He's four and two this year. Um, eight starts, four complete games, one shutout. Um, 
thrown 40 innings, 1.77 ERA, 50, that was strikeout number 55. And that pitch will not count as the batter uh, Swant called timeout. So that was strikeout number 55 on the year for Kaysen. So Kaysen has been extremely good on the mound in his senior campaign. So one ball, no strikes, one out. Batter is the pitcher for the Saints currently, Spencer Schwant. Ready to call strikes. So one ball, two strikes. That pitch misses off the plate. So two balls, two strikes. Two ball, one ball, two strikes. Line drive down the right field line that goes foul. So one ball, two strikes. Comes the pitch from Kaysen. Schwant hits a little ground ball towards the second baseman that Thomas comes and fields, flips over to Jace for the second out of the inning. And that's going to bring to the plate the catcher, Jack Cohen, who, if I'm not mistaken, is one for two on the day. Yeah, he had a little ground ball single into right field, his last at bat. Zach Graves is now in right field. Devin Knight has taken, uh, stepped out of the lineup. There's a called strike, so no balls, one strike. Stephen Gwynn in left. Derek Davis in center. And then curve ball that misses outside. Trevor Hand getting a day of rest today. Not batting, not catching, so... Much needed for the young man, Trevor Ham, the junior catcher for the Bears that has caught just about every game for the Bears this year, with the exception of a couple. So there's another ground ball to the second baseman, Thomas, that he fields, flips over to Jace. It's like repeat in here. So <laughs> that's out number three for the Bears. And that'll do it for the Saints as we go to the bottom of the fifth. On noblebears.tv, we'll be right back. Security needs to be at the top of the list when it comes to your family, home, and lifestyle. We offer advanced systems that provide a secure connection to dedicated professionals who can dispatch first responders at a moment's notice. Your system will feature an easy to use touch screen that intuitively makes operating your system as simple as one touch. It's state-of-the-art security that fits into your lifestyle and your life. Give us a call today to learn more. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Oklahoma Career Tech's been serving up skills to doers just like you for over 100 years. But this ain't your great Grammys and Pop Pop Tech school. Oklahoma's favorite place to learn new skills keeps learning new tricks. Everyone knows the best way to learn is to do it yourself. Sir, you okay? Because you shouldn't have to wait to do what you love. Whatever you choose to do, do you. Oklahoma Career Tech. Now is the time to protect your family with Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi. Internet security is becoming more of a fear every day. Protect your family against malware, viruses, intrusions, cyber attacks, and more. Modern internet deserves modern security. Get the best of both worlds with Pioneer in-home Wi-Fi and the Smart Wi-Fi app. Download the Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi app today or visit gopioneer.com for more information. 
Stream with Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maple's Mix and Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each other. All right, welcome back, Bear fans. We are at Noble and High School Baseball friend, Field. We've got your back. We understand your bear, what you're Bears doing are taking on the Being Warriors is what we do. Oklahoma Christian but it's Saints. Not all that we are. Saints are 22 we and care. 8 on we'll the season. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process. Bears not just as lawyers, but as your friends. Nine. We are Maples, Knicks, and Diesel Horse, and we are so here to help. Last minute uh, addition to the schedule the Saints are. So, new pitcher for the Saints is Wyatt Fitzgerald. Goes out of the stretch. First pitch. Uh, batter for the Bears is Jake Williams. He wears number nine. Time for your school or business to purchase a new phone system? Give the experts Jake at First Network first pitch a call. Back. In no most cases, we can provide a phone Mr. system Jerry with brand new phones for less than your current Saints. monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Jake swings through that pitch. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound leads. And that makes the count no balls and two strikes. There's a swinging strike three. And Jake goes down swinging. Make him 0 for 2 on the day. And that's going to bring the plate Max Savageo. Savageo, 0 for 1 on the day with a strikeout. This will be his second at bat. Max got the start today at third base. Called strike on the inside part of the plate, so no balls, one strike. Swinging strike on a kind of a change up curveball. I don't know, that was kind of a weird looking pitch there from Fitzgerald, so could have been a curveball, but just changed speeds dramatically. And swinging strike there for strike number three. That's going to do it for Max. He'll go to 0 for 2 on the day. And I believe, yeah, Derek Davis will be the batter for the Bears. Derek is 0 for 1. He grounded out to the shortstop. There's a called strike from Fitzgerald. Gerald misses off the plate there, so one ball, one strike. Pitch misses inside, almost caught him on the sleeve. Sunshine is what we always called Derek whenever he was younger, so... <laughs> Called strike on the right down the middle. So two balls, two strikes, two outs. Fitzgerald a strike away from getting out of the bottom of the fifth inning. Pitchers duel day between the Bear pitchers and the Saints pitchers. And there's a ground ball back to Fitzgerald that he fields cleanly, throws over to the first baseman. Adcock for out number three. We will go to the top of the sixth inning on noblebears.tv. We'll be right back right after this generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. 
Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the all right, welcome back, Bear fans. We're ready for the top of the sixth inning. Today's matchup between your Noble Bears and the Oklahoma Christian School Saints. And new pitcher for the Bears is going to be Colin Fisher. So the Bears and the Saints both just trying to get uh, you know their pitchers some, some warm-up tosses before regionals next weekend. So uh, Colin Thomas moves over to third base. Uh, Jake Williams goes to second. Case and Anglin will stay at short or go back to short. Chase Kelly remains at first base. And let's see what the outfield looks like. Uh, from left to right, Gwen, Davis, and Graves. So uh, Colin on the year. Pitching-wise, uh, this will be appearance number 12. He's 7-1. and one. One save, so he's in line to get his second save of the, or actually it'll be a victory, I'm sorry. Um, it'll be nine starts, five complete games, four shutouts, uh, faced 181 batters, struck out 96, .65 ERA. Uh, opponents are hitting 144 against him. I'm sorry, 80, .083 against him this year, so there's a called strike. Colin gets ahead in the count. No balls, one strike. And batting for the Saints is Carter Sterling. He is the shortstop for the Saints. So one ball, one strike. That one gets away from Colton Williams. Gets to the backstop. There's a fly ball into right field that Zach Gray settles underneath for out number one. That's going to bring to the plate Jackson Hill, who started on the mound for the Saints today. Colin looks in at Colton Williams, gets a sign, there's the pitch, misses inside. One ball, no strike. Swinging strike there. Called strike there. So one ball, two strikes. Playing umpire is probably going to get a little frustrated because balls are uh, getting past the catchers, um, and the on deck batter typically retrieves those those baseballs. But twice now uh, that has not happened, and okay, here comes one of the Saints players to get that one. So, so three balls, two strikes, and Jackson Hill draws the walk. So they've got a run, their runner, uh, base runner at first base, and that's going to bring to the plate the pitcher currently for the Saints, and that is number 16. That's Wyatt Fitzgerald. So called strike on Fitzgerald, belt high, fastball. Curve ball called strike. Oh, one ball, one strike. Colin got the call there, so one ball, one strike, one out. Swinging strike there from Fitzgerald. So one ball, two strikes. So 
here's the pitch from Colin. Swing and strike. So that's out number two for Fisher and the Bears. And that's going to draw a visit from assistant coach Brad Anglin. So two outs for Fisher and the Bears here in the top of the sixth inning. That was strikeout number 97 on the season for Fisher. So Adcock will be the batter. Fastball that misses inside. So one ball, no strikes. Adcock 0 for 2 on the day. Here's the pitch from Colin. Called strike, curveball. One ball, one strike. Swinging strike there from Adcock. So one ball, two strikes, two outs for Colin Fisher and the Noble Bears. Fastball that gets away from Colin there, and that's going to be a ball. So two balls, two strikes, two outs. Swinging strike there, so that's going to be strikeout number 98 for Colin on the season. And that'll do it for the Saints in the top of the sixth inning. No runs on no hits, one man left on base, no errors. We'll be right back on NobleBears.tv. Field and off. Security needs to be at the top of the list when it comes to your family, home, and lifestyle. We offer advanced systems that provide a secure connection to dedicated professionals who can dispatch first responders at a moment's notice. Your system will feature an easy-to-use touchscreen that intuitively makes operating your system as simple as one touch. It's state-of-the-art security that fits into your lifestyle and your life. Give us a call today to learn more. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Oklahoma Career Tech has been serving up skills to doers just like you for over 100 years. But this ain't your great Grammys and Pop Pop Tech School. All right, welcome back, Bear fans. Uh... Leading off for the Bears here in the top, the bottom of the sixth inning is Anglin. Fastball that misses away. Anglin 0 for 2 on the day. So fastball that misses off the plate. So two balls, no strikes. Fitzgerald still the pitcher for the Saints. There's a line drive down the right field line that's going to be foul by about three feet. So that's definitely extra bases for Case and Anglin with his speed. If that falls fair, but it does not, falls foul and into the corner it goes. The right fielder for the Saints, Orm retrieves it, gets it back in, and. We'll step back in the, the box and do it again. So two balls, one strike. Fitzgerald, the pitcher for the Saints. There's a line shot up the middle that the shortstop fields, throws cleanly over to first base. So that's going to be out number one for the Saints. 
in the bottom of the sixth inning. And that's going to get us to Colin Fisher. Colin has the only bare hit of the day. So he's one for two today with a double. And that first pitch misses up and away. So one ball, no strikes. There's a line shot right at the shortstop that he moves over to his left. A couple steps and makes the play. So two out, two quick outs for Fitzgerald and the Saints. And that's going to bring to the plate. Number 22, hitting for uh, Davin Knight. And 22 is Zach Graves, the senior. So I think. Yeah, so Zach Graves, the batter. Pitch off the plate. One ball, no strikes. Pitch from Fitzgerald. It called strike right down the middle. One ball, one strike, two outs. Bears and Saints knotted at zero here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Swinging strike there. Good cut by Zach. One ball, two strikes, two outs for Fitzgerald and the Saints. Swinging strike there, so that's going to do it for the Bears in the bottom of the sixth inning. No runners, uh, no no hits, no runs, no errors, no men left on base. We'll go to the top of the seventh inning, uh, and we'll be right back on NibbleBears.tv. Oklahoma's favorite place to learn new skills. Keep learning new tricks. Everyone knows the best way to learn is to do it yourself. Sir, you okay? Because you shouldn't have to wait to do what you love. Whatever you choose to do, do you. Oklahoma Career Tech. Now is the time to protect your family with Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi. Internet security is becoming more of a fear every day. Protect your family against malware, viruses, intrusions, cyber attacks, and more. Modern internet deserves modern security. Get the best of both worlds with Pioneer in-home Wi-Fi and the Smart Wi-Fi app. Download the Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi app today or visit GoPioneer.com for more information. Okay, welcome back, Bear fans. We are back for the top of the seventh inning. And Bears and Saints, uh, no, it's not a repeat. Uh, still 0-0 zero, zero as we head to the top of the seventh inning. New pitcher for the Bears, Max Savageo, the senior. Max on the year. Where's that? I don't know if we have Max's 13. This will be appearance number 14. He's 1-0, and uh, two saves. He's faced 112 batters, 3.53 ERA, and opponents are hitting 250 against him. So um, solid, solid senior year for Max Savageo. Great kid. Uh, just leaves it all out there every time he steps on the field, whether it's on the diamond or on the gridiron. So uh, the Bear baseball program will miss all these seniors. But... Max will be missed for sure because he's kind of the heart and soul of uh, the team. So first pitch is fouled back, so no balls, one strike. There's a called strike for strike number two. And uh, Jackson Steely. Yeah, Jackson Steely is now behind the plate. So there's a called strike from Max. So a three-pitch at bat. And... A young man that we still don't have a name for, number 20, that played, uh, that's playing third base for uh, the Saints here in the latter part of the game. 
goes down looking. So that's going to bring him to the plate, the number nine hitter, Owen Hunter. And that pitch misses outside. That was strikeout number 26 for Max on the year. Swinging strike there on Hunter, so evens the count at one. And so while we have a moment to kind of talk about it, um, make sure you watch social media. Ball misses down near and there, so two balls, one strike. Keep an eye on social media, um, whether it be Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram, whatever show, social media platform that you follow, and keep an eye out for the regional assignments and schedule. The Bears will be hosting again. Uh, there's a foul ball back. So count goes to three balls and two strikes. It's looking like uh, the Bears will play host to the same three teams as last year's 2022 regional. And Hunter draws the walk there from Max. So the Saints have a runner on, and that's going to get the line back to the top of the lineup for the Saints and Brandon Orm. Uh, but back to the playoffs. Uh, it looks like it's going to be McGinnis, Lot Knight, and Guyman. The same three teams that were here last year for the 2022 regional uh, look to be coming back again this year. So um, keep an eye on social media. We'll keep everybody updated. Um, Coach Hughes will keep everybody updated as well. So one ball, no strikes, pickoff move, and Hunter gets back safely. Called strike, so one ball, one strike. On number two, Brandon Orm. Wouldn't put the bunt out of the realm of possibility here to move the runner into scoring position. You'd have to think uh, the, the young man, Owen Hunter, probably has pretty good speed batting in that nine hole. It's typically the way coaches do it nowadays. There's a good looking curveball for a called strike. Drops in there. So one ball, two strikes, one out for Max Savageo and your Noble Bears. Zach Gray's in right field, Derek Davis in center. Uh, ball misses up and up there and out of the zone. So two balls, two strikes. So Derek Davis in center and Stephen Gwynn in left. And then the Bear infield is now Colin Thomas at third. There's a little looper into right field that Zach Graves makes the catch on. Nice job, Zach Graves, out number two. And Max Savageo is an out away from getting out of this. Batter for the Saints will be Spencer Schwant, the third baseman. Or he started at third baseman, then he came into the mound. I don't think he's been in the field the last couple innings, so. Here's the pitch from Max. Called strike on the outside corner. No balls, one strike. Good job back there behind the behind the disc by Jackson Steely. Good job of knocking that ball down and keeping the runner at second base. So one ball, one strike. Savage over looks in, gets a sign. Here's the pitch. Oh. Max and Jackson both wanted that. So one ball, two balls, one strike. Jackson Hill, the batter for the Saints. No, I'm sorry. Schwant is the batter for the Saints. Fouls that one back. Schwant does. Count goes two balls, two strikes, two outs. Dad always would say that was triple deuce. So. And Chase Kelly holding the runner. Owen Hunter on at first base. Barry infield deep in the middle. 
even with the bag, there's a foul ball over towards the OCS dugout. Nice play by their first base coach. Foul ball, though. Called third strike. So Schwant gets rung up there on a good pitch from Max. Nice job of work there by Jackson Stewie behind the plate. So no runs, no hits, no errors. One man left on base uh, for the Saints there in the top of the seventh inning. And we will be right back for the bottom of the seventh, the bare half of the seventh inning right after this. with Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horse, and we are here to help. System, give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote. Today. All right, welcome back, Bear fans. Uh, we are back for the bottom of the seventh inning between in today's matchup between the Saints and the Bears. And nothing but goose eggs out there on the board to this point. Um, just four hits between the two teams, almost as many errors. Um, three errors, four hits, no runs. Um, let's see how many strikeouts. Nine strikeouts for the Bear pitching pitchers and eight for the Saint pitchers. So 17 combined strikeouts. And there is a called strike and new pitcher for the Saints. That is... Two. The batter is uh, Rinky, is the pitcher for the Saints. And Jace Kelly is the batter for the Bears. He swings to that pitch, so 0-2. Jace 0 for 2 on the day. Fouls that one off. Just gets a piece of it to remain alive. Pitch down in the dirt. That gets away from the catcher, Bowen. So one ball, two strikes. There's a curveball that froze Jace. That's strike number three and out number one. So really good pitch there from Rinky. That's going to bring to the plate, number 33, the senior, Colin Thomas. Called strike on a curveball. No balls, one strike. Pitch misses off the plate, one ball, one strike. Colin 0 for 1 on the day. Ground ball down towards third base coach Brad Anglin that he should really make that play, but he does not. It gets by him. And he's probably going to hear about that from the Bear Dugout. So <laughs> um, 
not as young and spry as we once were, Brad. So there's a pop-up on the infield that the second baseman makes the play on. So two quick outs for Rinky and the Saints. And that's going to bring to the plate number seven, senior Carter Gollish. Gollish, 271, 26 RBIs, uh, one home run, one triple, two doubles on the season. And first pitch misses low and away, so one ball, no strikes. Pitch it misses low. So two balls, no strikes. Carter Gollish, the batter for the Bears. There's a line drive up the middle, so a good piece of hitting there by Carter Gollish. And I'm going to say it, that's probably the Bears' first hit of the day. So um, took six and two-thirds innings, but they've got it. So Carter Gollish, line drive single right up back up the middle. So Bears got a base runner at first base. And that's going to bring to the plate number nine, Jake Kelly. Last ball in the dirt. So one ball, no strikes. Carter has good speed, so. Pass ball on the outside part of the plate. So one ball, one strike. Curve ball for strikes, so one ball, two strikes on Jake Williams. Jake over two on the day. Swinging strike there, so that's out number three. And that'll do it for the Bears in the bottom of the seventh. One, uh, I'm sorry, no runs on one hit, no errors. Uh, one man left on base, and we are headed to free baseball, extra innings, uh, top of the eighth. Saints will be right back, and they'll have Cullen. There are three, four, five hitters coming up. Uh, we'll be right back on NobleBears.tv. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma all right, welcome back, Bear fans, for the top of the eighth inning. Uh, new pitcher for the Bears is Stephen Gwynn. Stephen, uh, this will be appearance number six. He is 0-1 on the season, one save, um, 4.38 ERA, and opponents are hitting 316 against him. So Steven has taken advantage of the opportunities that he's been given this year. So nice job by Steven. Leading off for the Saints is number six, Jack Cullen. Jack on the day, one for three. Got a single on the right side. Curve ball that misses inside. So one ball, no strikes.
pitch misses low and in. So two balls, no strikes. So long fly ball into right field. That's going to be out of here. So Cullen goes yard on Stephen Gwynn. And that's going to make it one to nothing in favor of the Saints here in the top of the eighth inning. Steven gets a sign. Here's the pitch. Foul ball in foul territory. It's going to get over and into the crowd. So no balls, one strike. Saints lead one to nothing on the home run by Cullen. Here's a long fly ball into left field that Dollar smuggles back and makes the catch. Shoe top. Shoelace catch there. So that's the first out of the inning for Gwen and the Bears. Swinging strike there. No balls, one strike. Stephen Gwynn gets ahead in the count. A little foul ball. Jackson Hill, the batter for the Saints. Fouls that one back. Uh, Hill does. Hill was a starting pitcher way back earlier today at around 12.05. So <laughs> seems like a long time ago, but it actually wasn't that long ago, about an hour and 45 minutes ago. So fouls that one back as well on the pitch from Gwynn. So no balls, two strikes, one out. ball up over the first base dugout. Stephen misses outside there, so one ball, two strikes. Fly ball into right field that Graves races up and is going to get over his head. That's going to be extra bases for Jackson Hill. So Hill reaches on a double and Saints now have a runner at second base and Fitzgerald, I'm sorry, uh, Rinky will be the batter for Tennessee. 23 or 22? Hang on one second. That's 23, so it's Abel. Abel will be the batter now for the Saints, and there's a line drive up the middle. It's going to be a single and get past the center fielder. Oh, nope. So Derek Davis fields that. Gets it back in, holds the runner at third and first. So runners at the corner for the Saints now. And that's going to bring Drew Adcock to the plate. Drew 
0 for 3 on the day with three strikeouts. So he's got the hat trick on the K's. Fastball, it misses off the plate. So one ball, no strikes. Swinging strike there, so one ball, one strike. Good pitch from Steven. Good defense there by Jackson Steele. He's sliding over and knocking that down. So two balls, one strike. No strike, Steve-O. Let your defense work. Need ground ball here. Fastball misses off the plate. Three balls, one strike. Swinging strike there. Good looking pitch from Steve O. Count goes to full. Pop up into left field or in center field. Davis settles underneath, makes the throw, and that's going to allow the runner to come in and score from third base. So two to nothing in favor of the Saints. Top of the eighth inning here. Stephen Gwynn on for the Bears. There's a ground ball to the shortstop that he fields cleanly. Anglin does. Flips over to Jake Williams for third out in the inning. And the Saints get two runs in the top of the eighth. And we'll be right back for the Bear half of the eighth uh, right after these messages. Athletes on the field and off. Security needs to be at the top of the list when it comes to your family, home, and lifestyle. We offer advanced systems that provide a secure connection to dedicated professionals who can dispatch first responders at a moment's notice. Your system will feature an easy-to-use touchscreen that intuitively makes operating your system as simple as one touch. It's state-of-the-art security that fits into your lifestyle and your life. Give us a call today to learn more. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Oklahoma Career Tech's been serving up skills to doers just like you for over 100 years. But this ain't your great Grammys and Pop Pop Tech school. All right, welcome back, Bear fans. Uh, we are back for the bottom of the eighth inning. Leading off for the Bears will be Max Savageo on deck. Is uh, I can't tell who that is. Let's see his number. Leading off will be number two Savageau. We'll find out here shortly. So Max Savageo, Max Savageo leads off. Um, here's the pitch from Abel. Down in the dirt. Max is ahead, one ball, no strikes. It's a foul ball right back towards me. One ball, one strike, no outs. Saints lead two to nothing here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Free baseball. Pitch misses low and in. Two balls, one strike. Uh, 
There's a line shot down the right field line that's going to go foul. Good cut, though, by Max. So two balls, two strikes. Pitch that misses inside, so three balls, two strikes. There's our call third strike. Froze Max, so first out is in the books for Abel and the Saints. Derek Davis, the batter, squares the bunt, pulls back. One ball, no strike. There's a called strike, so one ball, one strike. Davis squares the bunt again and is not able to get the bunt down. So one ball, two strikes. Swinging strike there. So two outs for Abel and the Saints. And they're an out away from getting victory number 23 on the season. And going to be up to Case and Anglin to extend this one. Keep the little rally going here, hopefully. Start a rally. Case and Anglin, the senior, number 10. Swings through the first pitch. Anglin is 0 for 3 on the day with a strikeout. No balls, one strike. A little looper into left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. And... Uh, that case and thought about going to second base because it was kind of in no man's land behind the shortstop and in between the center fielder and the left fielder. And everybody just kind of froze and kind of looked at it. So, <laughs> but case and get, keeps it going here and he's at first base and that's going to bring to the plate. Number 18 senior Colin Fisher. That was that first pitch back Fisher does. Fastball that misses off the plate, so one ball, one strike. Saints are 22-8 and eight on the season, 13-1 in their district. Ball misses down, so two balls, one strike. Ground ball back up the middle. That uh, shortstop fields. Touches on the bag, and that does it for today's matchup between the Saints and the Bears. Uh, the Saints come away with a 2 nothing victory. And congratulations to them. Good luck in regionals. And that'll do it for today's broadcast. Uh, thank you for joining us on NobleBears.tv. Go ahead and keep the stream going here. Bears go down two to nothing to OCS, and the Bears will fall to twenty-three and ten on the season. Saints go to twenty-three and eight, and again regionals will start later this week. Um, depending on uh, the weather, um, one second, let me update this here. So regionals will start either Wednesday or Thursday, depending on what the weather is supposed to do. 
Um, pulling up the weather now. Uh, weather's not going to be an issue. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous every day for the next 10. So as it stands right now, so weather won't be an issue. Um, regionals will start on Thursday, uh, most likely. Just keep an eye on social media. Uh, regionals will go Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It looks like the Bears will host uh, McGinnis, Lot Nike, and Guyman again. Uh, no different than last year. And uh, McGinnis, 18 and 15 on the season uh, before this weekend. Uh, Lot Nike, 11 and 22. And Guyman, 2 and 20. Um, so Bears definitely, you know, you know, they'll have their work cut out for them, obviously. Uh, last year it came down to, to, to the Bears and McGinnis. And, um, but, again, you still got to play Ike and Guyman, and uh, they'll come to play uh, like they should. So um, be sure to tune in to, you know, just check social media, and we'll get the, you know, the broadcast out there, dates and times and all that good stuff uh, as soon as we know more. But uh, we'll probably find out either late Sunday night or Monday during the day. So um, myself, Randy Kersey, thank you uh, for joining us on NobleBears.tv. Um, that's going to do it for today. Uh, everybody have a great weekend. Enjoy the night, the beautiful weather. Looks like the rain's done and over with for a while. And uh, go Bears!